Let's talk to Steve Woodcock. He is an independent foreign exchange trader, amongst other things. Morning to you, Steve. Thank you, uh, yeah, amongst other things. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> boom, boom. Right, what's your highest conviction thought at the moment? Um, still, I'm still a big buyer of dollar yen. I think uh, we're, we're, we're holding nicely, even though we've seen a, a small dollar pullback this week, obviously. Um, but, uh, but no, dollar yen looks to me like we are building a very, very nice base for a move higher. Um, it seems to be a lot of, lot of news at the moment regarding the UK and Europe seems to be taking over the market at the moment. So the dollar's come off the boil a bit this week. Yep. Uh, but I think once, uh, once we get back to the interest rate um, situation, yep. exactly, um, I think that's when we're going to see the dollar have its next leg up. Right. Um, so and you still see massive upside for dollar yen? I see massive upside. You know my thoughts on dollar yep. yen. It's going up. And I think that, I think it was the last time I was on here as well. We uh, we spoke and I said, oh, it had broken through a weekly trend line. It actually pulled back below that. And and I I mean I had some I was in at good level, so I was fine. But I actually got out of my position. I had to rebuy it. Lucky enough, I bought it roughly the same levels anyway. Um, but there was some sort of chart movement that. Uh, it got a little bit uncomfortable for a moment, but uh, but no, it, it reassessed the uh, the level and and, uh, and and we were above it again. Oh, so uh, um, I think we are, if we can clear this, you know, if we can clear one thirteen now, I think one fifteen fifty is next, uh, and onward and upward. So. Right, cable. What's going on there? Yeah. Well, actually, I mean, we're you know. If I keep... you knew nothing about the fundamentals and the political, the chart looks all right now, doesn't the it? Chart looks fine. Yeah. But like I keep saying, you know, we are, uh, uncertainty is uh, is what the market is, uh, or what you know is moving sterling at the moment, uh, and euro sterling. So uh, I, I I I still maintain that that cable and and euro sterling, or you know, cable is definitely going to remain under pressure. Euro sterling probably stays firmish purely because of what's going on with the UK government at the moment and yeah. uh, you know same, like I say uncertainty but I've said it on here before 130 is fair value for sterling cable um, but I, I suggest that the closer we get to next March or whatever it is now um, we, we will remain under pressure and we'll probably go to test the, the lows of cable uh, and, the, and the highs of euro sterling but uh, but there's a lot of uh, a lot of shouting and hollering to be done before that happens. So we've got well, we've got six months now, and, and uh, I'm sure that we'll be. Get, yeah, I mean, we'll have probably five governments between here and then, and and uh, five prime ministers. Well, and, you sound a tad sceptical. Uh, just it's, it's really getting on my. Uh, yeah, I mean, even even my wife laughed not last night. She loves Question Time, and uh, she said, oh, "I can't watch it anymore. It's, it's just all about Brexit, you yeah. know." And it is getting quite dull now, isn't it? I know it's very important, but. You know. Let's wrap up with gold. What are your thoughts on gold? Uh, I like gold. I, I do like gold. I think that actually travels, even though the dollar's quite firm, I like the price action in gold at the moment. And uh, I'm I'm not getting sucked into saying, oh, right, gold's going much higher or anything like that. But I, gold has firmed up lately, as, as a lot of metals have. Yep. Um, and uh, we're holding, at the moment, holding on to 11.95 um, on gold, which, which you know, is it, chart-wise, it's looking reasonably okay. Um, I expect it probably to trade towards 12.25, which isn't calling up very much at the moment. But I'd like to, see, I'd really like to see gold um, maybe break a couple of the higher levels because I think if it does, there, it's a, it's quite a smooth ride higher then because um, I think the levels below now have held it very well. Right. Uh, under, under some quite some pressure as well. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, I'm looking for gold. Gold to remain firm. I don't expect it to rally to the moon or anything like that. But firm, I think it's a gradual buy. You just have some. And, uh, yeah, that's the way we go. Steve, on that note, thank you very much. Thank you.